All right, Coach, first, welcome home. Uh, you were at Fan Fest Saturday. How does it feel to have Night Nation uh, welcome you back? It's great. It's great to be back. Um, you know, it's always been a part of me, you know, since I left. Always kept a uh, you know, close eye on, on the teams and um, didn't make out to mi as many games as I would have liked, but uh, definitely followed the team. Obviously, uh, being in professional baseball, you know, for the last 20, 23 years, I wasn't able to come out to too many games because our season starts know uh, pretty much the same time so when it's baseball season it's it's everywhere so I just didn't have a chance to, to see as many games I like. I think a lot of fans were surprised to see you join the coaching staff what led to the decision to make the move from baseball minor league baseball to college baseball? Well being in professional baseball for 23 years um, there's a lot of sacrifice from family that it requires um, you know it requires leaving for months at a time to go to a, another city uh, whether you're playing or coaching uh, you know, my kids are starting to get older, and so I just had my oldest leave for college. So it's kind of a uh, wake-up call, uh, so to speak, you know, to, to see one of my kids gone and, and know that being in professional baseball and, and being gone for months at a time and missing so many things, um, I felt like it was, it was time to, to come home and be home more. And so I just, uh, you know, left, left professional baseball not knowing what was next, and Behold, this this opportunity came up, and uh, you know, I'm really excited to be here. I'm really excited because I get to, to continue to still do what I love and what I have a passion for, uh, being in the game, and uh, to be able to be home more and not have to to think about leaving uh, for months on end. I mean, I was gone seven seven months out of the year. Uh, would see family a little bit, but uh, as they get older, they start doing more. You know, they got their activities and, and they start getting grounded and rooted in what they're doing and. Um, so it's a lot harder when, when they start getting older because they, they start having their own lives. You know, when they're young and before school starts, you can kind of take them and that, it worked out okay. But uh, it changes as they get older and get in school and get in their activities and get older and start having their own life. What's the learning curve like uh, uh, getting to know the staff, all the pitchers, especially in the time of the year in which you, you came on board? Hey, the timing obviously was uh, unique, um, you know, in the college college world you know the usually transitions are made during the summer after the, the season and you know this transition obviously happened right before the season so um, jumping in it full steam ahead pretty much getting ready for the season but you know that's what I've been doing coaching for the last 11 years in professional baseball we get new new faces new teams guys are coming and going a lot you know at the different levels and developing uh, so that wasn't uh, you know that was that was something I was comfortable with you know getting to know these guys and um, you know, starting to build our relationships. You know, that kind of comes second nature at this point. Just, just being able to, uh, to meet new guys uh, and, and be able to help them um, build that relationship with them, and uh, you know, kind of dive in and just, uh, you know, start that process. So it's that was a uh, pretty, you know, easy transition for me, uh, for the most part. Um, you know, it, but also it is a little bit different because this is college compared to professional baseball. There are some differences, um, and so just trying to get acclimated to those things. Um, has, has, you know, its challenges, but uh, I feel like I've done a pretty good job of, of doing that. Uh, you know, for example, one thing that I really haven't gotten fully into is the recruiting side of things. Obviously, that wasn't something in professional baseball that exists. Um, you know, that's more on the scouting side of things. Um, you know, so that's something new for me, something that I'll have, you know, there's definitely going to be a learning, you know, something I'm going to have to learn, you know, how the process works and, uh, you know, really uh, dive into that. So I'm, I'm excited to be able to learn learn something new um, and also just bring what I what I know uh, for the game and you know help the uh, the pitchers here what sort of adjustments do you think you have to make as a coach when you're dealing with a college athlete it's not much different than what I dealt with at the professional level with young guys um, honestly it's it's really very similar you know guys trying to get better there's a lot of areas where they can improve whether it's in their delivery or in, in their pitches their mindset there's so much that really any pitcher at any level is just continuing to strive for is to get better and every time you go out there from day to day that's what no matter what level um, that's what you're trying to do and so there's not much, hasn't been much of a difference there um, just just seeing these guys seeing where they're at and uh, identifying the areas where they can improve and then just really just attacking those areas and, and, and trying to get results as you've looked at the pitchers what do you like most going into this season 
we got a, I mean, we got a lot of talent. There's a lot of guys with good arms. Um, you know, I like the way uh, these guys really compete. I've seen that. Uh, they go out there, and, um, you know, they, they they carry themselves well out there. Um, I like the the camaraderie with them. You know, they have a really good relationship with each other. Um, really, really hold tight, and so you know that team aspect of things. Um, you know, so those are some some definitely some some good qualities. Um, you know, we'll see. Obviously, we've been facing you know you know uh, our own team in in uh, scrimmages. Uh, so it'll be nice to to actually see another team and and, and compete against another team. Um, and I'm sure these guys will be ready for it. UCF's had a lot of talent the last couple of seasons. Injuries of some form or another have have really impacted that. If you dove into that a little bit, looked at some of the causes there and, and as a staff got your arms around maybe making some changes to strength and conditioning mm -hmm. or just the approach uh, yeah yeah I mean I'm definitely uh I, I know the history of the the injuries and that's been one of my prior top priorities uh you know prior to the season is trying to do whatever we can whether it's make changes or adjustments to keep these guys healthy and and that's that's a top priority um you need you need arms um that's how you're gonna gonna have the the best staff possible you need depth and so, uh, you know, looking at that, we have made a few um, adjustments as far as, um, you know, the throwing and, and um, the workload, um, you know, and, and, and that's, it's, it's worked out well. And, uh, and I continue to, to see that working out well. And that's what we're going to do is try and keep these guys healthy. That's one of my top priorities, you know, obviously getting them better, but, but they can't help the team if they're not healthy. As the new guy, of course, the transfers are, they maybe have been here longer than you have. How have they uh, adjusted to, to being a part of this team that you've noticed so far? I mean, good. Like I said, it seems like they, they gel really well. Um, pitchers, position, the, the whole team, you know, they really, um, you know, they, it's, there's a really good culture. Um, you know, guys uh, really get along um, and, and kind of behind each other. And, uh, you know, that's so important. You know, even when you get new faces and, and new guys, and you're always seeing, you know, changes. And so those changes, um, you know, it seems like a lot of guys are adapting to it well. A veteran team, right? A little bit of an older team. How do you think freshmen, a guy like Cam Leiter, can fit into the mix? I mean, obviously, uh, he's gonna he's gonna be fixing in. Uh, you know, you're always gonna have young guys. You're gonna have older guys, and you, those older guys are really just gonna be setting the example for the younger players, um, and really kind of um, helping the younger players and set you know just setting them on and off the field. You know, just what's expected. And, uh, you know, so uh, the older players have done a really good job of, of really kind of taking the younger players under their wings and, and trying to show them the way and show them how we do things. Um, you know, I've seen it and I love it and I think that it's going to make a huge difference. But these younger guys, you know, it doesn't matter what year you are. If you can help the team, you're going to help them. You know, that's it's what it comes down to. You know, the, the best arms and the guys that are going to be able to, to perform and, and execute are going to obviously get the opportunities. You got some guys racking up some preseason accolades, Baden Vespi, uh, Kyle Kramer. Talk about each of them. Well, I mean, yeah, we've got some guys that obviously, like you're saying, um, you know, the older guys, some guys with, um, you know, there, there's a lot of attention on a few of them. And so, you know, guys like that, you know, um, you know, you, you brought up uh, Cam Leiter, obviously a young guy coming in with a huge, huge amount of talent. And, um, you know, he's going to be a huge part of this, um, you know, having Rudy Gomez and, and Ben Vespi, those guys really anchoring the staff, you know, going to rely heavily on them. Um, and, uh, you know, with each of those guys, you know, that as they get pointed out and the recognition comes, you know, it can, can, it can lead to, to some pressure. And so I just want these guys to be who they are, I'm not trying to be more than what they are. And uh, that's what I'm trying to preach to them and, and um, not try and do too much. Um, because when those things kind of start surrounding you, it's easy to try and do more than what you're capable of. And then you get away from who you are. And, um, you know, these guys are obviously getting the recognition for a reason for what they've accomplished. And that's what they need to really rely on and know that they're they're good and know that that's all they need to do is just be themselves. You're developing chemistry with the players, but also with the coaches. Uh, talk about your relationship and how it's developing with Coach Lovelady. Good. I mean, just being able to be in good communication about the pitching staff. Diving into you know you know uh, plans goals, uh, what we're looking to accomplish, um, you know how they how guys are gonna their roles are gonna be, um, you know it's it's so important to be able to have that relationship and really build a solid solid foundation along with good communication, and I've known um, you know love for a, many years since he took the job here and it started that relationship long before I got here just a, you know two months ago so. Um, 
the foundation of a relationship was was somewhat built there. So I'm, I'm thankful for that and, and to be able to come in and be comfortable with that. So it's not like um, it was the first time I'd met love or anything like that. So that was that was really, really helpful because uh, I think that kind of set the foundation of the relationship. It's been a while for fans since they've won an American Athletic Conference championship in an NCAA tournament last year in the American. Set fan expectations. What do you think is reasonable for a fan to expect from this team this season? To win the next game. You know, you try not to, to get ahead of yourself. Obviously, the goals uh, you can you can lay them out there, uh, but you have to you have to stay right in the present, stay right in the, what game what games that you know next, and focus on that. And uh, you know, trying to win the next game that's the got to be the goal. Um, do I think that's we're capable of winning the conference. Absolutely, uh, we have a lot of talent, and um, those are goals. Goals to go to Omaha. Um, those that was a goal when I was here playing. It's the, you know, same goal. You know, it, it still exists, and so, but it takes one game at a time. You try to start getting ahead of yourselves. Now all of a sudden, you lose focus of what you're trying to do on that day. And uh, Love does an outstanding job of that. Really, just staying present, looking at what we're trying to accomplish today, because that's all we have control over. As you look around this uh, complex and the, the baseball field, and remember back to your days, just how much has UCF changed? How eye-opening is? I know you've been back on campus, but now you're here every day. Uh, it just must awe you to think back where you, you were playing. Oh yeah, I mean it's completely changed. <laughs> uh, you know, I get lost on campus now. Like uh, there's so much that's that's new. Um, it's grown so much. It's gotten so much better. Um, I'm proud to to have been a part of this and a part of the process of just seeing this place grow um, and what it's become is just amazing uh, you know just the, the athletics complex and you know all the way on campus to just how they how they've really taken their time and done a really good job of, of making it to what it is today and just continuing to grow so uh, it's it's amazing it really is it's it's beautiful um, you can tell the work's been done intentionally so it's yeah I don't even know I, like I said it's like a whole like a whole city of it in and of itself and now you get to be a part of all of it again. Yep. And it looks a lot different because <laughs> this none of this that we're sitting on right now existed in this field. I was, you know, playing on the other side of campus when it was a lot smaller. You're ready for opening day? I'm ready, along with these guys.